So today is Halloween 2019. You were just born like 2016, weren't you? Yeah, what year were you born? Years old. What year were you born? I'm four. What year were you born? 1996. 96, huh? Yeah, 96. What year do you think I was born? Do the math good. Uh, no, no, quick, quick. Pick a date. Pick a date. Uh, pick a date. Say a date. 66. Oh, close. Eight. No, what I wanted to see is if you say something really fast, like what your thoughts are. Does that make sense what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's not even 9 o'clock in the morning. Like, bro. I know. <laughs> it's not even 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> well, you better start working. A guy, a developer, and he tells me he rents 100 dumpsters a year. He says, I want you to get the dumpster out before it rains. And I said to him, rainwater does not tremendously affect the weight of your dumpster. And he's laughing at me. He's like, you're an idiot. I said, I may be an idiot, but I'm right. I'm telling you, it doesn't affect it. He goes, how do you figure rain and water's heavy? I understand that water's heavy, but it doesn't tremendously affect the weight of a dumpster. Let's imagine, I didn't know what days it rained, and I was just in the office with no windows. I couldn't tell you what days we're picking up dumpsters when it rains. So it doesn't precipitously affect that, and, and precipitously, I don't know if that's the word I'm trying to use. I heard someone use it and I wanted to use it again. I have no clue what that means. Precipitously. I think it means a lot. I have to Google it. Precipitously. If it affected them that much, I would be able to tell you, you know, what days it rained and what days it didn't rain just by the, the weights. Second of all, about five years ago, I wanted to see how much rainwater would weigh. And I'm gonna go over that on exactly how much rainwater weighs. If somebody yells at you for not picking up a dumpster, you can actually use these calculations and I'm gonna show you how to calculate how much it weighs and how much they think they're spending. So here's how you calculate rainwater. It doesn't cost that much when you get rainwater in your dumpster. Okay, we're gonna draw a dumpster here. Here's your dumpster, 4K. Here's a 4K dumpster. Rain is gonna be going in your dumpster. Now obviously it's gonna rain a certain amount and you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to predict or the only thing you're gonna to need to know is how much it rained. So if you're gonna have a monsoon, you know it's gonna be uh, more than an inch. Let's assume for the most areas, one inch of rain is gonna be a lot of rain. If you get more than one inch of rain, it's been raining a long time. So you're gonna have one inch of rain in your dumpster. One inch, you can kinda see it. And then I'm gonna show you how to calculate exactly how much this weighs. So if you have your length, let's say your dumpster's eight feet wide times 16, feet long and then you have to times it by the height of your of how much rain you get so you could go online and you could find your you can find calculators now in this case we're gonna we're gonna put this into cubic feet so 8 times 16 times 1 comes out to 10.67 cubic feet okay and I don't know if CF, I don't think that's right, but whatever, that's good enough. It's cubic feet, we're gonna put, we're gonna put CF, cubic feet. And you, you can go online and you could actually, we'll put a description in the link below on the website that we found for cubic feet. So we're gonna put 10.67. Okay, now we need to know the weight of a cubic foot of water. So a cubic foot of water weighs 7.48 per cubic foot. So we have 10.67 um, cubic feet of water, and we're gonna times that by 10.48. And that comes out to 79.8116. So, and that's the, the, the pounds per cubic feet of water. That's the weight of water. So it comes out to total, if it weighs one inch and you have an inch of water in your dumpster, it only weighs 79.8116. If you come down to your 80 pounds 
And if you, let's say you're $80 a ton for your, um, for your tonnage. So you would have to figure out how much it is because now you're talking pounds and tons. It's, let's say it's 80 pounds and you're $80 a ton, that, that's gonna change in your different areas. So it's gonna be 80 pounds. And then if you're $80 a ton, that's 0.04 times um, for 2,000 for 2, pounds in a ton. So that comes out to, handy dandy calculator, that comes out to $3.20 of water. That's how much one inch of rain will cost a customer in water. Now, that being said, we estimate that 80% is drained out of the dumpster when you take it out. Estimate that 80% of the water does get drained out, so 80% of the $3.20 isn't even, isn't even there anymore. So you would say if 80% of 320, let's say half of it comes out, so it's $1.50. So this is how much rainwater will cost if you have one inch of rainwater in your dumpster. Don't let people tell you that rainwater is a big factor in the weight of their dumpster. This is an important math problem to understand. It's really easy. Hopefully I did it right, but I'm pretty sure I did because I'm not a complete moron. Um, hopefully this helped you out. And this is why rainwater doesn't cost more than you, more than um, some people think it does.